Let's balance the chemical equation for the decomposition of Na2CO3 and it's decomposing into Na2O plus CO2. So we have sodium carbonate, this is sodium oxide, and this is carbon dioxide. So to balance this equation, let's first count the atoms up. We need to be a little bit careful here. Two sodiums, one carbon, and three oxygens in the reactant. In the products, we have two sodiums, one carbon, and then one oxygen. But make sure you count these two oxygens here. So that'll give us a total of three. What's interesting is when you look at these, this is already balanced. We have the same number of atoms here as we do here. If you had a problem, it's probably going to be right here where you didn't count the oxygens up correctly. If we were to write the states here, they'd look like this. If you wanted to report the coefficients, you could just say 1, 1, 1, but we don't write them in practice. In practice, to actually decompose this sodium carbonate, you have to get it really hot over its melting point, over a thousand degrees Celsius here. And even then, sources say it doesn't decompose very readily. There's a link in the description to a paper on that if you want to read more about it. But if you're asked to balance the equation for the decomposition of Na2CO3, this is how you do it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.